In this video, I'm going to show how an emergency manager can conduct a preliminary damage assessment using Fulcrum and produce the results in real time, and then integrate it with ArcGIS Online. On the left hand side, I have the Fulcrum web app. On the right hand side, I have the Fulcrum mobile app. You can start with one of our pre built templates, the apps that we've already created. There's four in here directly for earthquake, fire, flood, and wind. These are, these are for conducting individual assistance preliminary damage assessments. Those are for residential structures. Here you can see how it operates. This is a little tour of how you create a record on the mobile app. All it's asking for is the level of damage. It automatically auto-populates the address and then asks for a photo and then it shows you the damage classification for residential structures or mo mobile home structures. They're clearly defined using FEMA's damage classification. If you want to change the location of your pin, because if you're standing outside of a house and you want to capture the building, it allows you to then auto-populate the address on the correct address over that structure. There's a list view, which you see here, and then there's a map view. So I've already built a damage assessment as a demo. I'm going to show you how it works. So. I'm using Moore, Oklahoma as an example. So I'm going to change one of the records so you can see how quickly it updates from the mobile app to the web app. This, look, this, this iPhone is not connected to my device. It's going through the internet. If you don't have internet when you're out in the field, you can still collect points. It's just not going to have a connection to the database, but when you do have connection, you can sync and it'll, it'll collect that information on the web. So now I'm going to push that data to ArcGIS Online so that it reflects the changes. I'm going to collect the CSV data share link. I'm going to go into ArcGIS Online I'm going to add that CSV link. It's going to give me a warning and it's going to ignore it. And then I'm going to choose my attribute of status, which is the damage assessment classification. And now I'm going to change the symbology so that it reflects the correct usage that FEMA requires, which is purple for destroyed, red for major, orange for my minor and yellow for affected. I also put other in there because you want to tag structures that you you've seen but don't have any damage so that you can understand where you've been as opposed to going back and not knowing if someone's been there. I'm going to change the visibility range so that as you zoom out you can see the layer. So 
Let's rename the layer here. And now I'm going to configure the pop-up. This is really important. By default, it shows all of the attributes. We only want specific ones around the status, the damage level, and the address, and a photo. That's really all FEMA really needs to do a proper assessment, an initial damage assessment. More inspection needs to take place down the road, but this is just to help expedite the damage or the declaration. So I'm going to configure the image so that it shows the photo and the URL. You can get that URL by clicking on the actual photo in Fulcrum, and you'll see that URL. So I've added the URL for the thumbnail, and then I've added the link. So when you click on the thumbnail, it goes to that page. You'll see here. And I'm going to refresh every 10 seconds. So now when Fulcrum gets updated from the mobile devices, you'll see that that point next to my mouse changes. There it goes. Now I'm going to change it back. I'm going to change the location also. Make sure that when you change the location of a point, or when you lay a point on top of a house, that it has the correct address. That concludes my tour. I hope that helps.